so welcome back to another episode of bloom into you now in the previous episode we saw Saya, sayaka not saya sayaka and you kind of talking out their awkward relationship and now having more of a rivalry that feels a lot healthier for them at least it doesn't feel like they're tiptoeing around each other anymore it doesn't feel like they are they have this intense awkward relationship it's just a rivalry they both know their own respective goals and wishes and i feel like that's the best way to do it and we also saw toko and you talk about stuff under the umbrella and it was really really good i really liked it it showed a lot about their characters and it showed a lot about how toko feels about you and vice versa of course so it's gonna be interesting to see how it develops i really like how all of the characters are extremely flawed and all of them definitely have like their selfish desires i don't think any of the characters are completely morally objectively correct i feel like all of them are get pretty selfish in their own needs so it's really fresh to see and it's really interesting to see how all of them are tackling their selfish needs completely differently so it's really really cool i really i really really find it interesting and entertaining i'll be honest uh, honestly it's so good so i wonder how Yu's and Toko's relationship is gonna end up actually developing because right now it feels like Yu is getting closer and closer to falling in love with Toko and Toko obviously really doesn't want that but I have a feeling it's inevitable so I guess we'll see what she, what happens when it, that eventually does happen and also I wonder if Toko's um, facade if you will or yeah I guess let's call it a facade if it actually ever does crumble down or it gets integrated into her old self, which I think would be a win-win. Like parts of it would get integrated and parts of it, the toxic parts would fall away. That would be obviously the best case scenario. So I wonder, I guess we'll find out as we watch. So if you wanna watch this Uncut and Unblurred, it's gonna be on my Patreon, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Bloom Into You, episode nine. <laughs> Oh yeah, another thing that I didn't really talk about in the previous episode, but because I I didn't fully register it until like a few seconds after it happened. You know the friend that, like the old friend of Sayaka or the ex-girlfriend of Sayaka, I thought at first that she was actually being sincerely sorry for what she said because she obviously grew up, she's probably around university age right now, so she changed her outlook. And then she came up to her and she said like all of those things like, that I thought were actually sincere and honest. And then she said something along the lines of it's okay if you're not normal or something like that. If you still like girls and you're not normal or something along the lines of liking girls is not being normal. And I was, I, I, I saw that and I was like, I must have mis, misheard that or I must have read this uh, incorrectly. And then you guys did tell me, no, I, di I didn't read that incorrectly. That did happen. So, uh, f*** that bitch. <laughs> その時間誰か空いてる人はいないの今、職員室で生徒と体育祭の打ち合わせ中なのでもう少ししてから生徒会室に来てもらえますかわかった生徒会はいリレーの体育祭の準備ってこんなに忙しいのかはい。<笑><笑> Oh, come on, Toko. Come in. There needs to be a classic stuck in the shell moment. What's that? No, no stuck in the shed. Oh! Maybe? Wait, it's, there's still time, there's still time. You! Every romance has. Yup. Here it is. Every romance needs to have this. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Yeah. Um, senpai? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is kind of cute. This is kind of wholesome. Oh, that's cute. This feels different. Wait, this <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. They're cute. He's so got seen the cara. Hayaku Modora and I could get nine, sir. Zaki sent by Matemus, you Mate.今は我慢するから体育祭が終わったらご褒美が欲しいな。いや、何する気ですか。勇から High school. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, that was. Oh my god, I'm still thinking about that. That's, that was such a cute moment. I'm recharging, she said. That was adorable. Come on, you! She looks like she would be kind of athletic, yeah. She looks a tiny bit tomboyish. Uh, maybe not. She's a bit tomboyish, but a bit, a bit girly as well. I don't know, it's hard to say. Okay. What is Swedish relay? じゃあ、担当終わったから戻るね。うん、お疲れ。俺もクラスの方戻るわ。道島くんもこっちだっけ。うん、その先。ただいま。I want to see the play. よ、加納さん。ん?あ、生徒会議つながりで知り合いなんだ。うん。脚本の調子どう?That's cool. うん。住んではいるんだけど。I like how all of the people are starting to get to know each other. Yeah. I, I bet. I bet. I bet. Especially since all of the girls around you are currently taken. <laughs><笑>俺より小糸さんに聞いた方が良くね。聞いたけど評判通りの表面的な部分しかわからない。もっとギャップとか意外性とかギャップ萌え。そうだけじゃキャラクターを作れないんだよ。いや、よくわかんないけど。そう、だ
私はナナミ先輩のこと好きじゃないから<笑>またまた好きじゃないなら生徒会室であんなこと本当だよ好きなんかじゃないよだって私は誰も好きにならないもんイントレスティング I mean, we already know that. But I don't know if she's conditioning herself not to fall in love with anyone at this point. Because if you keep talking or saying to yourself that. Because if you keep, like, there are some things that you can condition yourself to think, right? You can, if you keep repeating the same idea to yourself, I'll never be able to do that, I'll never be able to do that, or something like that, or I'll never be like that, then. There is something in your brain that's gonna actually make that a reality, at least oftentimes. So if you can, if you keep saying "I'll never fall in love" to yourself, or "I'm not able to ever fall in love," there is it's definitely possible that your brain is just gonna shut off that possibility completely, and you just will never, like, you will just not feel that, you know, close to anyone ever. So it is possible. That, to do that by just convincing yourself but it feels like with you she actually does believe it and i feel like she isn't in love with uh toko yet i think she really wants to fall in love with toko but obviously she she is getting closer and closer to her we definitely feel like toko is getting more and more special to you so that's interesting to see <laughs> yeah i really like maki 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 is the goat <laughs> I feel like him. That's that's so nice. Mm. Yep. That's interesting. さみしいと思ってた。誰も好きになれないなんておかしいとか、私もみんなみたいになりたいなって。今は思ってない。ななみ先輩がそのままでいいって言ってくれたから。好きって言われても好きって返せない私のことが好きだって、そう言ってくれ
<laughs> She's running the bar or a cafe. She doesn't always have to work. She has her own business. She decides her own times. Ah, she knows. Yeah, she doesn't have the stuff. She can read her perfectly. Holy. Man, I love the characters in this show. Oh. Oh, this looks like so much fun. Just hang out with your friends like this. At a sports, like culture festival, or whatever it is, sports festival. Ah, the jocks. You can see that these are the jocks. <laughs> oh, this looks fun. うちのキャプテンすっごい負けず嫌いだから。ああ、キュート。なんかまあ、仲良さそうだね。明るい女も欲しいのも。3番だよ。同じじゃん。ああ、でゴーイングアゲンストチャダル。本当は4番走りたか
<laughs> I have so many things on my mind. Wow. Wow, what an insanely good scene. <laughs> I don't know if, if I should... I feel... I don't know. I'm just... Wow. I don't know if I should laugh or cry right now. I'm feeling a certain way. What are you doing for dinner? Oh. Ah! Cuties! <laughs> Cuties! <laughs> yeah? Wait, wait. But you is different than she was before this. Bro, you trust me, there's nothing straight after it. No, no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Take the initiative. Guys. Guys. Come on, you. Okay, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. is that Stoko? No, it's you. わからない。でも、ここを越えたらいけないことだけはわかる。言う。やっぱり私からするのは違う気がするんですけど。え?だって好きでもないのにするとか。the plot thickens. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so hyped up right now. <laughs> Do you know how Whoa, 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 Doka! ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。ごめん。
ただの当たり前で、特別なんかじゃないはず。心臓の音がする。私のじゃない、先輩の音だ。だってこれじゃ、早すぎるから。Um, you know what happened right now? And this is the first time it happened in this anime. The ending got me emotional. Um, I don't know why, but when they went like Yagata k i m i n i n a r u a r u a t e l e r the title in the ending, that hit me. I don't know why. Something about the ending just made me way more emotional than it ever did. Okay,、um, so we can agree that this is the best episode so far, right?、Um, We can see. Okay, okay, there's so many things to talk about. Okay, so that was definitely something that moved in you when she saw Toka running there and saw her from the side, look, was looking at her, her face. We saw something move in her, right? Now, we also saw when she was trying to give her the reward that there was something inside her that was stopping her. That was making up, putting up this wall of no, that's that's a step too far. So she seems like she, there is, I don't know if it's completely self imposed because of her conditioning herself that she can't fall in love. And it's like, if you do this, then this, this self image that you made out of yourself that you can't fall in love is gonna crash, it's gonna crumble, right? I don't know if it's that or if there's some kind of different repressed. Not trauma necessarily, but just a personality trait or something like that. Maybe she repressed something else that's kind of forcing her to not do any action that's gonna basically go too far in making her fall in love with another person or making her care for another person. Like maybe she wants to care for someone, but deep down there's something preventing it. That's completely possible. And I feel like it's not even that、um, uncommon to be blocking your own. Desires just because you've been conditioned, you've kind of been talking or like conditioning yourself to be like, no, I, I can't do that. I can't do that.、Uh, there's no way I can do that. And when it, you come close to doing it, you're like, no, I, I, I can't. I can't. And you kind of psych yourself out of it, right? I don't know if it's that or something else, but that's so far what it seems to me.、Um, also, obviously, the line between their relationship is getting blurrier and blurrier by the episode, obviously. And also, I thought Toka was gonna be more against. Like, when you said that it felt good, I thought that Toka was gonna be taken aback a bit because we know that Toka doesn't want you to fall in love with her. But obviously, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 it, this episode, it felt like Toka was a lot more open to you gro gradually clo growing closer to her, right? So that's cool to see. I feel like that's. More so because. I don't know, maybe. Toko. I don't think she's accepting. Like, becoming. Like, opening up to you. But I feel like she is slowly but surely, inadvertently. Just unbeknownst to herself. Opening up, becoming more comfortable with you. And I feel like she's realizing that maybe it's not that bad of a thing, right? Hopefully. That's my interpretation of it. But, oh man, oh man, oh man. I also really like the portrayal of Maki versus you, where Maki is satisfied without ever falling in love, at least from what we see right now. He feels like he's completely. He feels like what I thought you w a s g o n n a be at the beginning, completely like. Once again, I, I, I'm, I try to be really careful with throwing these words around, but asexual, right? Where he doesn't feel like he needs any kind of like romance, or he doesn't really have any kind of like, you know, sexual desires or romantic desires or anything like that. He just feels like he is happy to be, and he feels like he's just happy to be alone. He doesn't feel lonely. Whereas you is often alone, but she feels lonely. There's a difference between that, right?、Um, obviously, we all know there's an age old difference between being alone and being lonely. And I feel like that was on full display with Maki and you there. So that was really, really cool to see. That was a, a great scene. Great, great scene. I love Maki as a character. 
I, I want to see more of Maki, honestly. I feel like we get to see so little about the male characters. And Maki is like the only male character that we get to see, like at least a glimpse of. So I want to see more about him. Um, because he's such a well-written character as well. But anyways. Wow, we've progressed this relationship. We're progressing at breaknet speed, man. Um, wow, I did not expect the... Yeah, the mouthful of action there. That was... Toko was feeling extremely spicy. So, it feels... Like, everything that Toko does feels really counterintuitive, right? Because she says, I don't want you to fall in love with me. I don't want her to get even closer to me and stuff like that. But everything that she does, everything inadvertently gets you closer to Toko. So, I feel like... I don't know if she's subconsciously doing that on purpose, just because she doesn't want to admit that she wants to fall in love with someone, or with Toko, or with you, sorry. Or is she actually oblivious to the fact that everything that she is doing, or is she, or is the desire for her to be closer to you that much, that strong that she can't resist it? I don't know, but it's inter interesting to see how she's so, everything she does, it's so counterintuitive, counterintuitive to the original idea that she had. Oh man, this is so good. I know a lot of you guys um, disagree with my assessment of the characters, but I feel like that's the charm of some of these shows, especially like a well-written character drama like this, because everyone has their own experiences in life and everyone interprets different motives. Like everyone lies on a different side of like the spectrum when it comes to like what kind of um, person they are and who, what kind of ideas they align with themselves with. So I feel like it's really cool to see how people are like, um, I don't agree with you, but I can see where you're coming from. I, I, I really like that. I really like that. This is my favorite thing about this anime. is how I can say my opinion on anything. And like you guys are going to be like, <laughs> I giga disagree, but I can see where you're coming from. And I'm like, hey, that's all I need. That's all I need. So it's so fun. Oh, man. Thank you guys for all the comments that you're leaving. Uh, whether it's your own personal experiences or whether it's just an actual breakdown of the episode. Um, I really appreciate it. It's really fun to read you uh what you guys have to say about it so anyways i feel like i'll talk more about it in like the last episode something like that so i'm gonna end it here hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace